Hey guys, Prince Mastodon here. Gonna do this, um, it's not a commentary video, but I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, change out your your video card, like the actual physical hardware of, you know, taking out your old video card and putting in a new video card. Um, before you do that, there's uh, some things you might want to know before getting a new video card. Two really big things you need to know. You need to know the power supply unit requirement that your video card needs and also what kind of, um, what kind of slot that the, uh, the video card has to fit into. So for example, my 9800 GT from a few years ago, it required, let's see, at least, what, 400 watts or greater PSU, which is power supply unit. Um, so I had to buy a new uh, power supply unit, and my power supply unit runs about 550 watts, so that was enough to power my 9800 GT. Um, and also, I had to find out what kind of slot it would fit into on my computer. So uh, my Spartan computer, requires a PCI Express compatible video card, so um, so I knew this would, would fit into my PCI Express slot. Um, so yeah, once you know that, you get your video card, and then you're gonna just stick it right into your computer. Um, so uh, with that said, let's go into the actual, um, y you know, the uh, the physical aspect of, of taking out your old video card and putting in a new video card. What you want to do first, you want to Make sure you power everything down before you uh, pick up your computer. So I'm gonna kill the power supply, unplug everything. Um, yeah, here's my mouse, keyboard, speakers, internet, uh, video card thing, majiggy. All right, so here is the tower for my Spartan computer. It's all unplugged and everything. So I'm gonna bring it over here so that I can start operating on it. And uh, what you need is your uh, Phillips screwdriver, and you're gonna use this to uh, to take out the screws that holds your your side panel in place. It's like a little um, like a piece of uh, metal that that covers the, the side of your computer, um, and uh, it's usually held with uh, with screws. So that's why I have my screwdriver, of course. And uh, you don't want to go uh, unscrewing everything here. You just want to unscrew the ones that holds your side panel in place. And in the case of my Spartan computer, it's uh, this screw right here, and uh, this screw right here. Um, w when you look at your computer, you'll see which screws hold your, uh, your side panel in place. But uh, yeah, let's get unscrewing here. Alright, this is me unscrewing this bad boy here. Well, trying to. Oh, that one got screwed. Alright. So, now that the the two screws holding the side panels are off, I can slide it right off. See this? Hold on. Ugh. Wait. Alright, here you go. I have to be careful with this one because, um, because the fan's connected with a wire here, so I don't want to just rip it right off because that would destroy the wire with, um, that, that powers my, my fan here. So, uh, here's the inside of my, my tower. It's really dusty. Oops. Um, yeah, th th that's a different, um, story. But yeah, you need one of those um, those cans of compressed airs to uh, to clean this. But uh, yeah, we'll save that for another video. But right here is the uh, the factory installed video card. I'm gonna take this video card out and put in my my 9800 GT. So uh, this this is holding this screw right here is holding my my video card in place. Plus it's it kind of snaps into the little PCI Express slot there. But I'm gonna un unscrew this first before I take out my video card. All right, that's gone. And then I'm just gonna kind of pull it out. So here it goes. Oops, you don't want to touch too many things in here with your hands. Oh, you have to unloosen it first. There you go, bam! So here is my, my factory installed video card here. This thing, and I'm gonna replace it with my 9800 GT. All right, so here's my 9800 GT. Look at that, it's got its own little fan on it too. And I also have to insert the uh, the PSU directly into this. That, that's how much of a beast this thing is. Um, I know it's really old, but it still serves my purposes quite well. So, anyways, we're gonna put this in into my PCI Express slot, which is this one right here. Um, so let's let's do this. I hope you guys can still see this. I don't know. I can't look at the back of my camera right now. But I'm gonna put it right where my my previous video card was. Whoops, things in the way. Hold on. Boink. Alright, it's gonna snap it in. 
Ow. All right. There we go. It's not secure though. Okay, now it's snapped in. Now I need to find the screw I just took out. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. It's gonna go right here. This is to make sure it stays inside into your slot here. My gosh, why can't I see this? Um, okay, good. Now, now I'm gonna screw it back in. And uh, this is a uh, a special card. So I also have to put this uh, this connector here, which came with the video card. First, it goes directly into my 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 PSU here. It's gonna go right here. There you go. And I'm gonna hook this inside. There we go. Boom! Video card's inside, so I can put this uh, side panel back in. That's pretty much it, really. Um, so yeah. Um, the actual installation process where you, you know, you physically put the hardware in is actually pretty easy. Um, but there's some other things you need to do. You need to, um, like, uninstall the, uh, the previous uh, video card software and also uninstall, like, you know, the video drivers for your old video card. Um, and then you also, after you do that, you also have to um, install the new software for your new video card and also update all the drivers for your new video card. Otherwise, your video card won't run properly.